Lake Travis, because as you know, the levels out there are still low. If you want to take your boat out on the lake, maybe the next couple days since we're expecting the triple digits, plan on arriving early. The lake has lost three feet just since the beginning of June. Many boat ramps are closed, and at the few that are open, you can expect long lines plus safety inspections before getting on the lake. Let's take a look at the levels now, right now. Lake Travis, I just checked these about a half hour ago. It's about 29 feet behind its typical July elevation. Lake Buchanan, about 17 feet behind. There's still water to enjoy there. You just have to be extra careful, especially around those sometimes islands out on Lake Travis. A live look out there this morning. A little hazy to start us off as it's very humid right now. This is from our Center Ranch Steakhouse Weathernet site. You can see those sometimes islands out there on the lake. Current temperatures, it is 76 degrees in Austin. Pretty humid too. Check out the dew point. Low 70s there. Uh, that's a kind of a good measure of how much moisture is in the atmosphere. And when it hits the upper 60s, low 70s, that's the kind of humidity you'll really feel when you step outside. So don't be surprised if you notice that. Uh, across the entire country, we still have this very large ridge of high pressure settled right over Missouri right now, and so it is taking control of our pattern here in Texas. We're expecting a lot of sunshine this afternoon. Out over West Texas, still tracking a few showers there, kind of an area of low pressure over northern Mexico, but it's not going to impact us over the next couple of days. It's not until the weekend when we see our rain chances increasing. I'll get to that in just a minute, but let's go hour by hour through the rest of the day today. This wet weather that's showing up by noon, I think is going to stay along the coast, most of us staying dry with a lot of sun this afternoon. Tonight, mostly clear skies until early in the morning, then we could see a few low clouds, but that's really about it. Then a lot of sun through Friday afternoon, too. Uh, this is looking ahead through next week. We are looking at what are the normal conditions from Austin all along the Gulf Coast, and that's as kind of an area of low pressure develops that'll bring rain chances starting on Saturday. Really, really good news there. The temperature wise looks like normal conditions, which is uh, mid, low to mid 90s. Good news, too, with the extra cloud cover, the chances for rain, our temperatures will be cooler starting on Saturday. Uh, today, however, looks like we'll hit 100 degrees this afternoon. Be prepared for that. Water sunscreen, good things to have on hand if you're still kind of in vacation mode. 74 tonight in your seven day forecast shows triple digit heat uh, wrapping up on Saturday. Then Sunday, we start to see those temperatures fall a degree or two because of the extra extra cloud cover and a 30 to 40 percent chance for rain. Hopefully we'll see some good rain totals out of those five days of rain chances there.